Spending public money on behalf of citizens is one of the most important responsibilities for governments around the world. But with money appropriated to many different departments and agencies for many different purposes, it's not easy for a government to track how it is spent or assess the effect that it has. Imagine a world in which finance managers can see a clear picture of how public money is spent. Blockchain is making this world possible, and EY has developed a tool that enables governments to apply this technology. So what do governments need? What they're in particular looking for uh, is the ability to provide new forms of information exchange, information management, better data and evidence for decision making and public management. Uh, but they're looking to do so in a way that doesn't interfere with their core existing systems. Blockchains work best as a complement to existing uh, infrastructure systems. Blockchain should be the glue that lets siloed systems work with each other so that you know, one government's procurement system can manage into another you know, agency's budget system without trying to get everybody on the same global ERP, for example. We've developed a test inside of EY. We call it kind of the five-point test. Is a blockchain a good solution for this particular problem? Number one, are there multiple parties involved? Is it important between all of these participants to establish agreements on and trust in certain basic facts, like who has what program, how much money has been allocated? The third question we always ask is, are you managing assets of significant value? Is it important, question number four, to have a reliable record of all the transactions that are going on? And then lastly, is it useful to have some level of visibility across the network? And again, I think any central government authority would say absolutely, we want to know at any time where the budget is as a whole. So how might this work in practice? Under current systems, for a government to understand the outputs and outcomes that result from the money they spend on education, there is a long and complex process of asking different agencies to collect and report complex financial and non-financial information. However, using blockchain technology, the original appropriation is tokenized, and tokens tracked as they are transferred, subdivided, and spent all the way down the education delivery system. Each time a token moves through the chain, for example, from a program devised by the education ministry to a school board, it can be reconciled and consolidated for financial reporting purposes, and at the same time integrated with information on the school board's performance. This allows government to see at any moment where the money is being spent and what is being achieved. So we're seeing really great applications for procurement and spend management with blockchain because first of all, anytime you procure something with a blockchain across multiple organizations like government entities or, or networks of private companies, you've got a complete record of everything that went on. And you know what we find over and over again is agencies are great at negotiating volume discounts. They're terrible at actually keeping track of how much volume they've procured. And so they can't get the value that they've spent. With a blockchain, instead of having like, a, oh, we think the average price will be about 75 cents, we can actually have an algorithm look up all the procurement that's been done so far under that contract and then correctly calculate exactly the correct price. It works in complement to these existing systems. And so I don't have to face a large scale IT tra transformation, and yet I can still have an incredible improvement in the ability to provide integrated financial non-financial performance information. And why am I interested in that? It will improve my ability to um, discharge my public accountability responsibilities, better public reporting, better transparency, which is of course what democracy and governments are all about. But just as importantly, it provides me a better evidence base to make the sorts of decisions that are required to improve the delivery of public service.